Hi guys, it's John Gouch. I'm a recreation athletic specialist at Lakeshore Foundation. Today we're going to do a full body Tabata workout. So some of you guys might be asking, what is Tabata? So Tabata is a high intensity interval training. So the design of Tabata is really trying to get that heart rate up into an anaerobic state and really get that heart pumping. So today what you're going to be needing for this workout is just a chair and that's it. Something that is stable. Make sure there's no rollers at the end of it and if you do have a chair that has wheels on it, make sure it's locked. So Tabata training, all that it is is just 20 seconds of high intensity workout. Then you're going to do 10 seconds of rest and then you're going to do that for eight rounds or for four minutes. All right, so grab your water, grab your athletic wear and let's get started. All right guys, so to start, we're gonna do a little warm up to get those muscles all warmed up. Right now they're a little chilly. So to start off, we're gonna do four minutes of just jogging in place or rolling back and forth within your living room or whatever space you're in, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, four minutes. Let's go. All right, to start, we're gonna be doing jumping jacks first. So to do a jumping jack, you're gonna have your legs together, arms by your side. Then you're gonna go out to where your arms are fully extended forward up and your feet are shorter length apart. After that, you're gonna go right back to starting position. If you're gonna do this seated, you're gonna have arms by your side and then bring your arms right back up. Remember for Tabata training, you're gonna do 20 seconds of high intensity work, then 10 seconds rest. Do that eight times for four minutes. All right, let's get it going. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Awesome job, guys, completing jumping jacks. So now let's get into our next exercise, which are dips. So to start off, you're going to bring yourself forward to the edge of your chair. Then you're going to have your buttocks hover over the ground. You're going to lower yourself to where your elbows are 90 degree angles and then lift yourself back up. Another way of doing dips is putting your hands on the armrest of a chair. Go ahead and lift yourself up and then lower yourself back down into the chair. Make sure when you do dips that you are on a stable object. So if you're using a wheelchair, make sure those wheels are locked. Or if you're using a chair with rollers, make sure those are locked also. You don't want yourself rolling around. All right, let's get started. Woo wee! All right guys, we're halfway there. So now our next exercise is Russian twist. So to do Russian twist, you're gonna bring your body halfway off the ground and halfway from the sit-up position. So you're gonna have your body twist side to side, really engage that core, have the hands touch on the ground. If you're doing this in a seated position, have your back flat against the chair, have that great tall body posture. Same thing, engaging that core, twisting side to side. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Whew, I know our core is burning right now after finishing Russian twists. So let's give our core a nice little break and let's start working on our shoulder and back muscles by doing arm circle backwards. So you're gonna have your arms out in T formation, really pinch those shoulder blades, have that chest come outwards. Then you're gonna do nice small backwards circles with your arms, all right? So remember 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds or for four minutes. Let's get going. Whew, man, all right, I'm tired. Let's go ahead and do our last exercise, which are push-ups. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple ways to do a push-up, but the main key factor with all push-ups are having your arms extended, and when you come towards the ground, really have your elbows close to your body, okay? Our first way is having both legs and arms on the ground, have arms fully extended, and you're gonna bring yourself down. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Awesome, so let's go ahead and do the other way, which is having your legs propped up on an object. So this can be a step stool, or it can be a chair or a bench. All right, so you're gonna have your legs on the object, and you're gonna do the exact same motion as the push-up. So I have legs on the object, go down, come back up. So for our last demonstration, Follow me over here to the wall. Have your arms fully extended out on the wall 
place both hands on there. Same action, same motion. Bring yourself close to the wall and then come back up. All right? Well, let's finish this last exercise, guys, and I'll treat you guys to cool down. Let's go. Whew. Man, my arms hurt after doing those push ups, but like I promised, we're gonna do five minutes of stretching for my treat for you guys as a nice little cool down. So I'm gonna show you guys two of my favorite stretches. The first ones, just really shake out that body, shake out all the lactic acid out of your arms and body and core. My second favorite stretch is called the supermodel. So you're gonna do this sitting down, have your legs crossed over your other leg, and then put one arm over your leg, and then you're gonna twist, and then hold it for a couple seconds. All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this workout as much as I did, so much so that I'm gonna do it again. All right guys, have fun with the workout. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.